So hi everybody and welcome back to Sunroll Engine 5 tutorial series for absolute beginners. This is video 122 and in this video I want to show you how you can edit static meshes uh, which you imported or created yourself in another program. Let's get started. First of all I jump here to this website and I have a problem. Normally I wanted to use this one here modifying static mesh geometry right and then it says here on the side that you can go to the plugins and then you have to activate a plugin which is called uh, this uh, polygon editing okay let's try it i go here to my edit i go and edit down to plugins i x and write polygon Poly and there pops up nothing this is my first problem there is not this plugin. All right, editing, editing. If I write edit editing, they are popping up something and yeah, but not this polygon. At least it's not called like they described it here. So I did select most of the editing tools what I have here just to see if it's popping up later. And the problem is it's not popping up, which means normally when I select an object like here, let's select an object in my scene. I, I created this graveyard low level polystone on my own in a blender and ported it. And now I want to edit it. So how you can edit this one? Different ways. You can just double click here. Or if you select an object in your level, you can click also right click and then go here on top and say... Where is it? Edit Graveyard Stone, for example. This is the name of this one. And then we are here in this edit mode. And when I follow now this um, documentation, normally I sh it should pop up here a second option, which says uh, mesh editing and so. And no, there is no second option. There is this modeling tool option, I think. But this modeling tool option has really no I can only inspect it and then click here some options to uh, inspect this mesh here. And then I can go for this one and this one, but that's all. So I'm not really editing anything here. So how we can edit now this one? And I think I'm not sure about that, what I say now, but um, we can edit it with just the modeling mode. This is that what we already used. Here we change to modeling and this one is not only creating meshes here you can also uh, probably edit other static meshes that's uh, because they want to try to simulate also with that uh, modeling tools right so that should be possible and i think they use this one here for editing but i perhaps i'm wrong and if you find the solution how they activate this type of modeling here what they described here write it in the comments right now i have not found it. so i'm using this modeling tool so how we can use this modeling tool till now i showed you here only how to make a fast uh, fast prototyping with this cube grid or there are other really nice things what you have what we have here too which is fast which i can show you perhaps later uh, but not now right now i want to edit this this uh, starting mesh here how i can edit it for example i first i select it it's selected and let's say i want to change this low poly graveyard stone to a horror graveyard stone how i can make this i go here i have different kind of options i make a very simple option for this demonstration i go here to deform and there is a displacement and I select this one and you see it's already a little bit displaced here on the side we have the options of course you can change here and make it really nice but what I do is here because I have no clue how to make this right because that would take time modeling takes all time much much time um, and that's why I'm not doing this in a video. Um, but you can try it out what you like. I make now here accept. And now what I do again is I just um, use this displacement again. I click again on it. And you see, I have already something which looks scary. 
like a graveyard stone which looks much much more scary very old and this kind of stone you can use for example in a horror game <laughs> and yeah we can accept and of course you cannot only use this displacement you can go here for example let's go here to deform i think yeah and then we have here this uh sculpting tools dynamic sculpting and so on this one looks already really good but i want to show you that you can make for example this uh, deform things here too the tools here too so let's call smoothing that's not good smooth was not good that was also not good and if you make something wrong like me make control set control set and i select now this this here this sculpting and now i can for example sculpt but then i have to set probably here a little bit the strength let's make it lower uh depth the size let's make this lower and then you can just sculpt around and if you know the modeling uh, shortcuts for example uh how to make it for shift this back i think and then you can make something like so it will work anyhow i'm, I'm not sure if shift is here really back but you can make something here like yeah like normal editing and sculpting tool what you know um when you learned it if you don't know anything just try it out and play around and see what you can do in my case i make i keep this one because this one looks really already without doing anything just adding two displacements on it very nice for a horror graveyard <laughs> stone <laughs> or oh, it looks very old right it looks already very nice of course you can add here now materials and do much more things if you have um more knowledge about this modeling tools all right i think that's it for this video because i wanted to show you that you can of course change already existing materials or imported materials as well and I think we have to use this modeling tools now because this one here, what they show, I, this one was from Unreal Engine 4, by the way, and that's not here anymore. At least I found it not. And if you found, find it how to activate this kind of thing, write it in the comments. If you don't find it, no worry. This modeling tool here is very nice and it works, I think, too. Uh, but here you have just to learn these tools here a little bit more. To make it really a good use of it so with that said if you have any questions or any complaints or any tips and tricks write them all in the comments and see you in the next bye and good luck